And we're back on the roof. And it is nasty smoky. It's a big old fire over there. Um, anyway, we got no cool call. Uh, I turned the thermostat to cooling and nothing's happening. The tenant says that it is blowing air. So let's go ahead and start there. So let's see what's going on with this guy. So here we go. Filters have been changed recently. They look pretty clean to me. See the eyes. Well, it could be cleaner, but there is air passing through it. So let's go ahead and check the electrical panel. All right, so we're going to just check for 24 volts first, which we have 23.5. It's a little bit low. Let's see what our voltage is here. So we're at 208, 230. Again, the transformer is set to 230. That's why we have low uh, control voltage. Our contactor is not open, or actually it is open. So that's why our compressor's not kicking on. Let's see if we're getting a call for cooling first. So yes, we are. And fan, yes, we are. All right, cool. So Let's go ahead and check our pressure switch to see if any of those are tripped. So this is the low pressure one. It is closed, so it's not that. Go ahead and check this one here. It's the high pressure. We have continuity, so not a pressure switch problem. So it could potentially be maybe the, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, what's it called? Uh, the economizer. I believe these are the wires for the economizer. So if you t unhook this and remove power, uh, it'll basically think it doesn't have an economizer. So let's try that. I've put everything back together. I've removed the economizer just to make sure that maybe the economizer was doing something funky and just not allowing the compressor to kick on. Uh, thermostat is probably on a delay, so we'll have to wait for that. Um, I went ahead and switched this to 208 and uh, fan just got called for. So if we check between R and C, we should be getting like 27. Yep. So yeah, that's a very common issue. So let's see, G and C, we got the call. Let's see if we're getting a call for cooling yet. We are, still no compressor. So something's going on. Uh, there's gotta be another safety somewhere. Uh, let's see if we're actually getting 24 volts to the contactor, maybe the contactor's bad. All right, so it turned out that it was actually a delay, but uh, yeah, the unit kicked on. I'm just putting out warm air. Uh, we'll probably check the charge just to be safe, but it uh, looks like there's an issue with the economizer. Now it's all hacked up. Um, here, I'll show you. So yeah, you can see there's, there's some fishiness going on there. So we're gonna take a look at that, make sure all the wires are proper, and then we'll kind of go from there, but uh, honestly, they're not going to want the economizer enabled right now anyway, because there's so much smoke. Uh, anyway, uh, yeah. So we're going to check out this wiring and see where we're going. All right, so it looks like they've spliced into the uh, R and C to power something. So following this wire, goes into this guy. It says it's a CO2 sensor. That's kind of interesting. Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, the only thing the CO2 sensor is wired into is uh, R and C. That makes no sense to me. Oh, wait a minute. No, nope, no. Nope. Uh, okay. Yeah, so then it's wired into this guy. So it's wired into this damper adjuster. But then it's also wired into, it's spliced into this damper adjuster. All right, so we got the economizer plugged back in. Uh, we're just waiting for our call. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and turn this knob, see if it does anything. So it's all the way, currently the position is set to all the way uh, closed and it's not doing anything. All right, well the fan has kicked on. So I'm turning the knob to the open position all the way open that's not doing anything all the way closed and 
did nothing. Let's go ahead and put in test mode and see if this thing works. Oh yeah, and before you guys blow me up in the comments about the uh, the adjustment dial, yes, I, I realize what it's actually for. So basically that is so you can set how much that CO2 sensor will open up the um, the damper if, if it's tripped. So uh, it was all the way close, so that means if the CO2 was too high, it would just stay closed. So I went ahead and adjusted it probably about 40, 30, 40%. Um, so if that does trip, it'll open it up 40%. Uh, that's why it wasn't doing anything when I turned it is because the CO2 sensor was not sending voltage through it. So, uh, yeah. So anyway, um, correct me if I'm wrong on that, but that's what it looked like to me, uh, once I got a better look at it. But, uh, yeah, it turned out that the R wire, um, that was spliced was a little bit loose. So I think the economizer wasn't getting powered up until I started, you know, moving the wires around and stuff so so anyway yeah there we go okay so the nice thing about these training units is you have test one and test two if you jump test one to test two and then remove it it'll put in test mode and you'll be able to tell by this light it'll start blinking as it's doing now um when it's solid that means it's in normal mode so the first time you do it it's going to turn the fan on so i got fan running second time is going to actuate your economizer we should be able to see that once they're moving, which it is. All right, so she closed up all the way. So now we're gonna do test two again, and that's gonna kick on our air conditioner. And that's also gonna open up our economizer. That economizer should start opening up again, or actually closing, which it is. Very slowly, but it's moving. Yeah. So that tells me that our economizer is working fine. Um, so it could have just glitched out. I'm gonna leave it unhooked because uh, we have crazy smoke and they've been telling us to turn them off. So if we hit test two again, it's gonna go ahead and shut off the air conditioning and now it's gonna energize our uh, heat one. If, if this was two stage cooling, then uh, hitting the test two would go into second stage cooling, but this is only a single stage. And then, uh, yeah, so there's our, there's our heater. Might as well make sure that works. Um, we're at the tail end of summer now, so might as well make sure it kicks on all the way. All right, we got ignition. Now, if this was two-stage heat, if we hit test two again, it would kick into stage two heating, um, but we only have single stage, so now it's actually, you can see this is solid again. Uh, so that tells me that it's back in normal mode, so. Now we just have to wait for the thermostat to call for cooling and see if that kicks back on. But like I said, I'm gonna disable that. So we wanna kill the power. Okay. We're gonna go ahead and unplug this. If you ever have to disable a economizer on an old train package unit, that's all you gotta do is pull this wire off. I know in the past that I did it the hard way, but I didn't know any better. But thanks to your comments, I actually know about this now. So thank you for all you guys that tell me I'm an idiot and uh, all I had to do was unplug this one plug. So I'm gonna go ahead and tie it up here so it's just not touching anything. I don't wanna risk any kind of shorts or anything, but I mean, of course there's no power to it, but just in case. All right, so now that I've done that, I'm gonna go ahead and restore power. So don't just unplug it with the power on. You gotta cut it off, unplug it, turn the power on. The board will be like, okay, there's no economizer plugged in. So then it'll disable its functions and then it'll do its thing, so. But yeah, there's something up with this, I think. Or it just glitched out and then locked up and killing the power might have reset it. But uh, we're gonna leave that disconnected anyway because they want us to close it anyway. Uh, they asked us to. They're like, yeah, our cooling's not working. Can you disable the economizers while you're here? So I'm gonna be doing the same thing on that guy over there. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and get this all back together. Alrighty then, she's definitely cooling. So. Our return temperature is like 68 degrees. So yeah, and then keep in mind, this is our discharge temperature, not our supply. It's gonna be a little bit colder because it's coming right out of the coil. Uh, so yeah, looks like we had some issue with the um, economizer. I was checking those splices there and one of them wasn't that great. So I kind of tightened it up. So I think that might've been the issue. So um, now she runs with the economizer hooked up. So uh, there you go. Looks like it was just a loose connection. Anyway, um, yeah, so on these trains, that's very handy to know if you ever need to like bypass the economizer, you can just unplug it from the board. They made it nice and easy. 
I didn't know that. Somebody in the uh, comments actually educated me on that. So thank you to, you know who you are. Uh, so anyway, hopefully this helps you out. So thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe, comment, tell me what a horrible technician I am. Hit that bell notification and follow me on Instagram, Facebook. And if you like the tools that I'm using, uh, pick up a set for yourself on my Amazon store. Thanks for watching.